My name is Robert Williams, a.k.a. Stubby. I live on the St. Mary's Reserve, or formerly St. Mary's Reserve, now Akam. I was in residential school from 1964 to 1969, from when I was six to when I was about 10 years old. I was, uh, my name is Herman Alpine, and I uh, attended school here from 1949 to 1961. And uh, I remember the day I had received the strap four times. By the time I went to bed, I counted there was four times that I had been beaten. And uh, uh, it, it's things that I remember like that, that uh, it, it wasn't a fun place to be. And uh, uh, education to me was, was a very uh, negative thing. Residential school, this building is Catholic, run, it was run by the Oblates of Mary Immaculate. The school was built in 1910 and closed in 1970. So the maximum, I guess the height of its operation, they probably had about 200, over 200 kids, both boys and girls there names that were given to them after they came to the school. When they came, when you came into the school, they changed your name completely. They gave you a different name. And if it wasn't part of, if it wasn't from the Bible, they gave you a name from the Bible. So that was a, a big, big change. I was introduced to their God, who uh, was foreign to me because uh, up till then, I was taught different. The uh, spirituality that I learned were, is a lot different than what they taught me in this building. There were Catholics here, and uh, at times they were almost fanatical. Uh, they, they taught, but they didn't practice what they were teaching. Residential schools were built to assimilate First Nations people into the uh, white world. They wanted to destroy languages, cultures of indigenous people. When I was, I think it was, uh, when I was about eight years old, this boy ran away from the residential school. They caught him that night and we were all woken up. This was, it was quite dark outside. We were woken up. This boy was um, stripped naked. He was uh, tied over a table. And they came in with a strap and they whipped him. He couldn't lay on his um, back for probably a good week and a half after that. After the strap had happened, they the, the lights were out, there was only one light and it was focused on that boy. And they told us that if any of us tried to run away, the same thing would happen to us. 